Today, we're gonna be using Adobe Firefly, endless variations in Adobe Illustrator, using generative recolor, spreadsheets, and the variations tool. I'm gonna to throw everything into a random color. So I just need to make sure that they are different colors and I'm not paying attention to any color harmonies, making sure it's readable, because generative recolor is gonna do that for me. And this is the way that you need to lay things out. Think of each line as a design. We have our columns, word one, word two, word three, and we are just going to save this as a CSV file. So we're downloading as a CSV right here. What we're gonna do is we're just going to type in word one. So right there, so we've got word one, and then we wanna do word two, but we're gonna make sure each of these is a different color. Right here, we're going to select all of these, and I'm going to turn on the variations. So right down here, variables. So we are going to hit import, and I am going to grab right here, our spreadsheet that we just created. There we go, it works. Okay, so now we can assign. Word one is going to be right here. That is assigned to word one. I wanna make sure word two is selected there, and word three is selected on our little panel as well. All right, so now I can come into my data set. You see we have five lines. Those are the five different words uh, sets that we have. And now stay happy, stay creative, kind and creative, get inspired, inspire your friends. And we're gonna select the top one and we are gonna add effects. Wave, let's get it way more wavy. That's good to me. You can see we have one design here with those effects. Check this out. It is keeping those effects through each of the data sets. So we're going to now use generative recolor to select these, go to edit, edit colors, and generative recolor. So we'll do yeah. dark, minimal, techno. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and create some stuff. And we're just gonna create a type poster maybe. Grab our pen tool and create some utter chaos here. I select both of these and we're gonna go into the Pathfinder panel. So window and then Pathfinder. And then I'm going to click right here on the first one, which is divide. We are going to go to object, transform and transform each. We can simply click right here on random and it is going to randomly shift all the pieces to the minimums and maximums. So we want this to maybe be 70% rotation. If we hit random, it is going to randomize the rotation on those as well as the sizing and scaling, right? Which is really cool. So we're just gonna select all of them. We're gonna go to effect, we're gonna go to stylize, and we're gonna do round corners. Uh, I like to just set this at like 100 and then hit okay. There we go. We're gonna grab a bunch of these and I'm gonna make each of these a different color. So we're gonna do the background and I do want the background I know to be kind of this like light tan color. So now we can select all of our pieces here. We're gonna go to edit colors, generative recolor, and let's do a vintage space poster. And what's cool is now I can save this color palette that I just created right okay. over here by just selecting everything and clicking on this little folder. We're gonna name this vintage vibes. Now let's go ahead and come into vectors and I've just done vintage add here. And I'm gonna try to grab just a cool little vintage add to use, ooh, these are great. So I'm gonna select this one and we'll bring it over here. And what's cool is I can assign this color scheme that I just pulled from here using generative recolor to this. So if I like something that I've made in generative recolor, I mm -hmm. always try to save it as a little folder because then I have the colors. And we can go to edit, we can go to edit colors, recolor artwork. And from here, we can go to advanced options and we can just click right here, vintage vibes. Oh, and it's going to replace all those colors with our vintage vibes. And we can change the order of the colors until we find something that we like. Ooh, so I like that one, but I want the this to be blue. All I need to do is click here and I can drag and put that blue right there. And then that looks good. Maybe the clouds I want to be that gray. And this looks pretty okay to me. So we can hit okay, go into Adobe Express. I'm gonna go to Express and it is an AI file. And so I can find grill right here and it should convert that for me into a file. And now I have all of my pieces here on the grill, right? So the grass down here is its own piece. It's gonna load these in and we are going to animate. We're gonna animate this in. We're gonna do a pop. And then once it pops, I'm gonna have it spin and then I'm going to have it pop back out. All right, we're gonna animate this and the same thing is gonna happen. We are gonna have it rise. Oh, this is cool. This is gonna be good. <laughs> that was nice. All right, so let's go into text and let's add 
Um, maybe we just do summer. Summer sizzle. So we're gonna set it up right there, and then I'm gonna pull it really far back. Ooh, one in front, one in back. I think that is gonna look really yeah. cool. And we'll have this one, yes, bungee in. That is the correct answer. Let's watch our creation animate. Here we go. That's great. Here's my little hack paper texture. Click and drag all of this up here, all the way across. Change that blending mode right there to multiply. And now watch what happens with this really cool paper texture. Wow, that's so cool. It's really good. So I'm gonna go to media and click on audio. And here I'm just going to type in uh, summer, maybe. That's it. So we have our music and I'm gonna come back and we are gonna do a little voiceover work. Here we go, professional. This Sunday, join us for the summer sizzle right here on Adobe Live. Yes, yeah, so the music is a little too loud, but I can simply grab that, click on it, and then bring the volume down. Balance. This Sunday, join us for the summer sizzle right here on Adobe Live. It's pretty great. Uh, and you can see it was right here. We literally took it from Illustrator directly into Express and then animated it into like a full-fledged ad, which is really cool. Bye, everybody.